Although former President David Granger has been up against a bombardment of condemnation since he led the APNU AFC coalition into the 2020 elections, which the party lost, the latest criticisms comes from the Central Executive Committee, CEC, of the People's National Congress Reform, PNCR. The CEC is the highest decision-making body in the PNCR. The PNCR is the largest party in the APNU AFC coalition, of which Granger is also the leader. A statement from the PNCR CC also disapproved of the behavior of the party's General Secretary, Amna Ali. The body said Granger and Ali continue to disregard the decisions of the Central Executive Committee. The most recent disregard is the one-man decision by David Granger to go ahead and commit the PNCR to continue its involvement and accept two recently formed parties as part of the APNU. The statement noted. The CC said that its last meeting, Granger and Ali were specifically mandated to put on hold any further involvement of the PNCR with the APNU until the status of that partnership was fully discussed and decisions on the way forward are taken. The latest statement exposes further the growing division within the PNCR and the wider APNU coalition. Members of the PNCR are now being encouraged, with a Congress likely before the end of the year, to join forces to elect new leadership with a new direction. In recent weeks, the PNCR has faced several resignations by senior youth members and members of the CC. On each occasion, Granger's leadership was criticized amid calls for him to give up the leadership of the party. Granger's leadership has been described, among other things, as dictatorial. Despite these criticisms, Granger appeared at the virtual Zoom conference to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the APNU on Thursday. In his remarks, he said the coalition was stronger than ever and it looks to the next 10 years of political collaboration among its members.